Hi, I'm Ashley Land and welcome to another episode of Firehouse Foods. Today I'm at Station 7 and with me I have Firefighter Ricky White. How are you doing? Just fine. Good. Can you tell us a little bit about what you do here at Station 7? I'm the driver. I uh, drive the engine and the go-between between the lieutenant and the firefighters. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sounds good. Sounds good. So what are we going to be making today? Pizza casserole. Pizza casserole. Sounds yeah. intense. It's a recipe I got a long time ago from an old friend of mine. Mm -hmm. Of course, he made his own spaghetti sauce. Oh, okay. I We're go, cheating on I go bit. the cheap way. Okay. I don't make my own spaghetti sauce. I cook my lasagna noodles, spaghetti noodles, and my hamburger made with a little onion in it all okay. ahead of time. Mm -hmm. Okay, Ricky, so now we get to build the casserole, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so what's our first step? Well, first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our lasagna noodles. This basically goes in the bottom just to kind of hold everything together. That makes sense. So when you take it out, you don't just dump it Nothing everywhere. Nothing falls through. Yeah. And these babies are hot. Yeah, they're steaming. And you can put as many or as few as you like. You ever double layer it or overlap them? Oh yeah, if I have enough. Mm -hmm. Next goes the hamburger, and we'd already drained the uh, grease out of it. We use all of it? All of it on okay. this one. If you're making two dishes, do you just use half, half on one mm -hmm. and half on the other. Spread it out over the noodles. Get it all spread out. Then you start with your layer of cheddar cheese next. Okay. This kind of holds the meat and everything together. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you can put as much or a little as you like of this. And you just spread it all out. Okay, and now we're ready for the sauce. And you can use whatever you like. I got two different flavors here. Yeah, mix it up. And with this big pan, it's going to take two and a half to cover this up. So you're feeling the, um, covering the noodles? Right. Okay. And this will, as it cooks, it'll seep down. Down in there. Then here comes the pizza part of this casserole. The mozzarella. <laughs> So do y'all make two pans at the station? We generally always make two pans. I figured this one wasn't going to last very long. No. Nope. <laughs> we like to invite other stations out when we cook it here so they can help us pay for it too. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's always good. <laughs> and the last layer is the other part of the pizza, pepperonis. When the pepperonis cook into the cheese, mm -hmm. gives it that nice pepperoni flavor. All put together. Now how hot is the oven? 350? 350. And how long do we leave and it in there? It's take about 30 to 45 minutes. Just check your... When the We're cheese just warming is, it really. Really. Cheese melting the cheese mm -hmm. and uh, heating up the sauce. Okay. Okay Ricky, you probably know this is my favorite part. I say it on every show. Um, but we finally get to taste our pizza casserole. You can, you can taste yours. All right. <laughs> There's a lot of pieces in here. Very good. It's kind of like spaghetti pizza. Pizza spaghetti. Pizza, pizza casserole. Pizza casserole. <laughs> Sounds good. Well, everyone, if you'd like a copy of today's recipe, make sure you visit us at gptx.org slash firehousefoods. That's all we have for today. Ricky, thank you for joining us. No problem. It was great. Make sure you join us next time for another tasty episode of Firehouse Foods.